Good afternoon and welcome to the July 21st, 2009 meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority. May we have the roll call, please? Authority members Draymond. Here. Friedman. Here. Mincy. Here. Farazian. Here. Quintero. Here. Weaver. Here. And Chairman Azarian. Here. May we have your report? The agenda for the July 21, 2009 regular meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Thursday, July 16, 2009 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Thank you. The next item. Approval of minutes. Minutes from the regular meeting of the Housing Authority held on Tuesday, June 23, 2009. So moved. Second. Uh, if there are no objections or <coughs> corrections, the minutes will be approved as submitted. Next item, please. Item 5 are oral communications. Discussion is limited to items not a part of this agenda. Each speaker is allowed five minutes. Members of the authority may question or respond to the speaker, but there will be no debate or decision. The matter may be referred to staff through the executive director for investigation and report. I have a card from Herbert Milano. Good afternoon, Chairman Najarian. Members of the Housing Authority, my name is Herbert Molano. Uh, I'm coming here again to, uh, uh, in expectation of the uh, pending release of the quality of life indicators. I'm looking forward to, uh, to at least uh, reading whatever has been compiled so far. I think that the quality of life indicators uh, serve several purposes, but one of them is to inform the public of the state of the city and the challenges that the city faces. Um, that area, the gap of the uh, of the need and how that need is met, I think is one of the most important things these documents present. And it is my hope that the uh, Housing Authority will fund this thing on a yearly basis such that it can assist in different ways. I think it can serve uh, in the preparation of the budget so that as your budget project comes along, my suggestion is that that document can serve <coughs> as a guide with regard to the unmet needs or the, or the needs that have not been getting full in the city, and then worked out the budget from that from, from that document. I also believe it can help out significantly in negotiations, especially with the uh, employee unions. You know, when they come in with additional demands, that you can basically show this document and show page by page all of the unmet needs <coughs> of the city. For example, uh, road repair. You know, if you looked at the CAFR from uh, last year, we have close to 16,000 potholes. There was a pothole in front of um, um, the, uh, uh, the grocery store just out on Glendale Avenue here in Whole Foods for a good two weeks. I didn't mention it to it. You want to wonder how long it's going to take. Big pothole. It got repaired already. But it's kind of like an indicator that we see of what is happening to the infrastructure of the city. So that when you do get a chance to negotiate you know, with the city employee unions, you can say, look, there are some very significant needs in the city that have not been met. Whereas year after year, we have some very uh, significant increases in the payroll and benefits. You know, the, uh, the other area, for example, of the unmet need is the number of people, 20,000 as of that report from November of last year, from the Glendale Water and Power, of 20,000 people who are having significant difficulty paying their electric bill. And you can imagine their decisions in weather like today, where they are unwilling to turn on their air conditioners, if they happen to have an, and they are elderly, and they're walking to the nearest shopping center to be able to get relief. I say that from a personal experience. My neighbor, who was about 84, three years ago, died on his way to, uh, uh, to the bookstore here, um, anyway, Barnes & Noble. He lost consciousness, fell, hit his head on the pavement. You know, that occurs more frequently than we care to admit, but uh, that was the reasoning. He happened to, uh, to follow his sister, who died a few months earlier. You know, there are several, you know, the number of unmet needs, especially when it comes to youth. I saw the, uh, the truck from the, uh, um, the Glendale Youth uh, uh, Authority or Alliance the, uh, just this morning, and I was wondering, you know, how many of these kids have a full-time job that can help them, you know, with their family's uh, income situation. You know, when we look at those needs of a city and where the city can help out, uh, I think it will give a sense of balance you know, when, you know, the, uh, the employee unions come to you asking for yet more. I see too much focus on that side of the, of the, uh, of the issue and not enough on, on the issues having to do with those basic livelihood, quality of life needs that we need to address. 
In my mind, the city's objectives should derive from that document, and Mr. Draymond, as you stated, you know, government comes from the ground up. I always love those words, but I think that's the indicator. That's the document that puts those words into perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have no other cards. Uh, the next item, please. Are there authority member or staff comments? Comments? Mr. Zovac. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, members of the Housing Authority, just to let you know that uh, there is another affordable housing project uh, sponsored by the Housing Authority that is ready to start receiving applications for consideration for residency. It's the United Cerebral Palsy Project located at 6200 San Fernando Road. They will now be distributing applications to those people interested. Uh, this is an affordable housing project, 23-unit apartment building for extremely low-income adults with developmental disabilities. Uh, there is a flyer that will be handing out to the authority. Uh, the uh, information and the application will also be available on the city's main page website as well as the Community Development and Housing website. Uh, advertising has been initiated in the Glendale News Press as well as a number of other papers for the next two weeks on a daily basis. Um, community organizations will be contacted and as well as the Parks Department that uh, through the uh, recreation programs that they provide uh, to that clientele as well. So it is a special needs population. It's different than some of the affo other affordable housing projects we've uh, had recent lotteries for. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's a, uh, a project that is opening its application process. If those interested can call United Cerebral Palsy at 818-782-2211, extension 570, or again, uh, go to the city's website, and we'll have links to the actual application in the flyer. I had an opportunity to tour um, that project. It's not quite finished yet, but it's beautifully designed beautifully thought out. It's going to be a real benefit to the people living in there. Thank you. And not the threat to the community that some of the folks in Pelicone were so concerned about uh, early on in the process. Other comments? Move we return. Adjourn. Second. We are adjourned. <coughs> See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>